Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2019 California Russell Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Don Minto. His presenter is former alumni from Corning High School and current teacher at Gerber Union Elementary School, Mr. Court Mitchell. Don Minto wrestled at Durham High School and graduated from Chico State in 1976. For 31 years, Don Minto taught physical education and coached at Corning High School. Don helped coach the varsity football team to seven consecutive CIF North Section Championships. He also coached the track team to 20 CIF North Section Championships. As head wrestling coach, Don started the wrestling program from scratch at Corning High School. He coached for 30 years. Don's dual meet record was 401 wins, 79 defeats, and zero ties. His wrestling teams won 17 league titles, 10 CIF North Section titles, four North Section CIF Masters Championships, and a second place team finish in 2003. Please note, there was a widespread agreement among coaches in the North Section that Don is easily next in line as one of the top candidates as an inductee into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Well, Mr. Don Minto, there was an agreement from the California Wrestling Hall of Fame Committee too. Welcome to the club. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted in the 2019 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Don Minto. I'd like to uh, thank the, uh, the guys that nominated me, the committee for this tremendous honor, uh, the family and friends that came down here for this event, and uh, my wife and family for three decades of commitment and support. We all have a story as to how it all came about, so here's mine. In 1965, I'm a junior at Durham High School, and I'm going to try out for the basketball team. And after the first day of tryouts, the basketball coach pulled me aside and said, uh, son, I'm going to show you to the wrestling room. <laughs> now, getting cut was no surprise. I couldn't dribble and chew gum. But, but I, the only wrestling that I'd ever seen was that big time pro stuff on TV. So when going down to the wrestling room, I'm thinking, man, I'm, I'm going to get choked in the ropes. To give you some idea of how antiquated it was back then, uh, our mats, we had those old horsehair mats that we had to piece together. And uh, we had a tarp with a school logo on it, and uh, we tightened and tucked that tarp under the sides of the, uh, the horsehair mats. And uh, our uniform, we had uh, the tights, and uh, the top, you'd crawl in the bottom like a t-shirt, and it had a flap in the backside that you'd bring between your legs. And I had like eight buttons in front that you had to fasten. I guess they didn't want you to come undone. <laughs> now the downside of this uh, attire is uh, if you're nervous about the upcoming match and uh, you got to go to the bathroom like four times in 14 minutes, that becomes a workout in itself. <laughs> um, the upside is... Uh, by the time you get buttoned up and you run out there and tighten tuck the tarp, you broke a sweat, you're ready to wrestle. <laughs> I graduated, I'm accepted at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Uh, I was out for the wrestling team. I was like the seventh guy in a weight class with six. Um, <laughs> now I was, a, I was a hit from the sticks and um, Avila Beach is not too far from the campus. And uh, the first time I went to Avila Beach, I did not know that that many gorgeous two-piece bathing suits could exist. <laughs> I spent a lot of time at Avila Beach. <laughs> In fact, my major became Avila Beach. <laughs> Sometime after Christmas, uh, I got an invitation in the mail. And that uh, invitation landed me in that uh, tropical paradise across the Pacific called Vietnam. And uh, I did my tour in Vietnam and I came home and, and uh, I went back to school at uh, Butte Junior College and uh, Chico State. And uh, I finished up in 1977. Now in case you're doing the math, you're thinking, it took that boy a decade to get through college? <laughs> yeah, I was a little slow. <laughs> in 1978, uh, I'm employed at Corning High School, which uh, incidentally had never had a wrestling program and after football, the coach came to me and he said, hey, uh, why don't you teach these guys some wrestling and keep them in shape in the off season? I said, okay, well, 
what do we got to work with? And he said, well, we got these old horsehair mats. I said, man, I got this. Where's the tarp? So that's what we had for a while. And, uh, and uh, eventually we got a, a nice mat and, and uh, those nice step-in style singlets. And in uh, 1981, we had uh, a very talented group of uh, freshmen come on board. And uh, when they were seniors, we won our first section championship. Uh, in closing, I'd just like to say that uh, I've always believed that wrestling is the greatest character builder a young man can have. And thank you, wrestling, for this fantastic venture. Thank you again, once again, Mr. Don Minto.